With the NF Festival Collection on the horizon, there was still a couple cards that Lyrical Monastero received, and I'm going to go over them today. What's up, guys? My name is Zanarion, and today I'm going to go over the last couple of cards that Bush Road revealed for Festival Collection, and these cards are interesting in their own right because all of them, well, except one of them, are uh, supports for two bosses for uh, the set three girls. So I'm going to go over all of them and my thoughts and um see if any of these cards improve any of the decks so let's get it started so for the first card uh that was a real action shock for me the most uh we have a gray one and her name is uh pow pow do my best Anla. so uh she has one ability and that is uh, auto when this unit is placed in a rigor circle by a card's ability if you have a great through a greater vanguard with Kyoka or Letitia in this card name, so charge one and this unit gets five thousand cards in that turn. So same as like the medial uh medio hazard promo or uh the magazine promo with powerful and friends. Uh this is another card that combines two art types into one and to make a generic support card for both of them. So for this card in particular, um I haven't done any real testing or I haven't heard anyone really talk about it. For Kyoka, I believe this is a very good card just to be able to uh, get your soul charge. However, uh, you do not want to be calling this card from the top of your deck uh, just because you have more important cards such as Archie. And uh, if you don't have, if you already have Archie on your field, then this is also a good target to just get your great ones out so you can use your order. Uh, your magazine order so you could draw two cards and dig through the deck a little bit more um but she also soul charges so that helps the deck out since you basically replenish the call and she's basically a 13k uh attacker booster for letitia you can obviously call her from your um sparkle order uh from the soul and it will get um an extra 5k from this from the ability of herself and the 5k from the order herself so it'll be an 18k attacker booster um, so, uh, also you were punished the soul if she's in the soul, so you don't really neg anything, so it's basically like a free call in that regard. Uh, I think this card is okay, not too anything spectacular or, uh, amazing about it, but in the future I think this might be, uh, potentially something to look forward to, and, uh, to be able to increase the strength of both decks, so yeah. Next, we have another great one, uh, Egg Relay Race. Full Smiles uh, Jul Julana. Uh, so, this card has two abilities. The first one is Continuous, uh, Rigor Circle. If you have another unit in the same column as this unit, uh, this unit becomes friends in Auto Rigor Circle when this unit boosts. If you have a Grade 3 or Greater Vanguard or Medial or uh, Forti or Medial in its card name, choose one of your other friends and it gets 5,000 power to the end of the turn. So, for this card in particular, this is a friend's uh, before Tia Medial one. So obviously I have the front ability, so you're able to combine this with Fortia uh, to be able to have more friend regards, which is good. And the ability to be able to give um, another friend 5k power, it might seem a bit odd to put it in Medial. However, you're able to put power on uh, the restander that you're going to uh, stand from um, for Medial. Basically, her uh, the flower grade 2. I, I forgot her name, but she's able to reset after many attacks, or you're able to uh, give power to another unit after uh, to critical if you don't have the restander. Um, in friends, you're able to give power to Fortia um, or to another regard to add more power to uh, that lane or that attacker. So it's a free ability. However, it is locked to turn three, so I'm not sure how useful it will be. But I can still see this like being played just for the friend consistency. Uh, for Medial, time I have to tell. Um, like I said, it is a turn three card, so I'm not sure how strong it will be in Medial. In Friends, I can see it still maybe being played because it's free power. You're able to put on any uh, friend unit, uh, friend unit, friends unit, and uh, you're able to just be able to make better numbers for free. So, and as well as you're able to call it for Melty and be able to have a full board for Fortia. So, I think this is an okay card for Fortia. Medio, I'm not too sure about. Um, 
I think there are probably other better options to help Medial, but it's still an interesting concept of combining the front engine with Medial. The next card that they revealed uh, is Emotions Keep Rising Healthla. So this card has two abilities, which is a uh, powerful continuous during your turn. If your soul has no cards, this unit gets tells of power in auto rigor circle. And when this unit is chosen by the ability of your Vanguard with for many or hazard in this card name, cost Kamos one draw card. So this card in particular, um, for powerful, it is a really good card. There was a double R in the first set that where Herminia dropped in, which was a, a grade three mermaid that essentially was able to give a unit 5k power. And if she hit, uh, you're able to draw a card. Um, the issue with that card is that your opponent had to uh, let the attack hit and most of the time they wouldn't. So it's good for pressure, however your hand will still be little if they guarded your attacks and you wouldn't be able to guard. This card just refunds your uh, discard for Herminia and you're able to just essentially just get the draw automatically. So you're still attacking four times but it's like a, a filter sort of um, thing. Uh, the, her first ability to be able to get 10 hours of power is really massive because you're able to uh, call her down on turn two and you're able to tackle her for a 19k which is really huge even against a 20k vanguard that's still a 10k shield that they will have to give up in her hand to be able to guard the attack um and this is also revivable with uh the the promo magazine promo they're able to just call it to rigor circle if you discard it for uh lingerie or any other card later on and as for hazard you might not be able to make use of the power because um you want your soul to be able to uh get your multi attacks with her double r as well as other cards and but if she's chosen from the grade three hazard uh you're able to draw a card um instantly in the main phase so you can coop up more resources and i'm not really sure if it works with the uh, her ride line um still waiting for confirmation for that um however she's able to just plus you another card during the main phase and you're able to have a lot like counter charges in the i mean counter blast isn't a big issue hazard so overall i think this card is probably one of the better ones that they uh released for the double art type ones she's also 9k so you can search it with uh hazards triple r uh they're able to call down and start getting your netting your value that way so this is basically a replacement for a uh, Tesla, uh, a, a grade two that um, Hathor was running to be able to draw cards. This is essentially a better card, and um, this is immediate, uh, an immediate slot and powerful. I have been tested with this, but yeah, I said this is probably one of the better ones, and it's definitely a very good card. Um, the last of the dual. Uh, boss cards we have is go go street uh kule so she has one ability and that's auto when this unit is placed on rigor circle by the ability of your vanguard with lofa or michu in this card name cost soul blast two counter charge one and this unit gets five as a power to the end of the turn so uh let me talk about michu first michu i don't really think that you need to run this card i haven't seen i mean counter, i don't think counter blast is that big of an issue um but what I've seen, like, a Michu play, use your counter blast mainly for, like, plussing cards into your hand, your cannonball order, or calling Nukuno or restanding. The counter charge could be worth it if you remove some cards and add more soul charging cards. But I think the way the deck is right now, I don't think you really need this card. Um, this is more specifically when you use Michu's act ability to essentially call a card from hand, you're able to draw a card. You're able to basically refund that counter blast cost, which is nice. Um, however, uh, soul is an issue if you keep using your flower cannonball as well as the grade two that is able to put your flower cannonball into your order zone to essentially draw you a card. So I'm not really sure if Michu has room to run this card in the deck. Now for Lofa, this actually changes a couple of things. Um, Lofa, you're able to essentially use a Fuedi more, uh, her grade two, th that you're able to put into the soul. You're able to draw a card and call grade three. You can call, um, you essentially have more counter blast with this card. Um, as well as you're able to uh, get some of your counter blast back from calling Melties or just using uh, Lofa herself. Since it's a two CB turn, this essentially makes it one CB. Um, 
if you have if you persona road or you just do a multi-tag with lofa um as well as you're able to call it on a grade two if you somehow if they print a card that you're able to counter blast like earlier you're able to refund that counter blast that you've done so you won't become damage denied or something like that in later in the future it's a grade three so it helps with Luffy. you can call it in the back row as well as with the regalis piece you're able to uh call it uh the the new regalis piece i was able to call two grade threes it's not placed by vanguard car billy but you being able to search her out from your deck and bounce it back if you need to need a counter charge later is really good so for lofa i think it's a pretty interesting and a pretty good card for what i haven't been really testing with lofa but for just what uh Meloa and matt and other people have been saying i think it's a very good card to have in the deck for lofa so overall i think michu um didn't really benefit from this card all too well but i think what uh lofa got in this change is really good too so for the last card that they revealed it's a mostly a generic card and uh she is finding unux tortoise uh Lukakna, I think. I think. <laughs> so, she has one ability. Auto break our circle when his unit attacks the Vanguard. If your Persona Road is turned, cost Karamas 1. Choose up the two of your other regards. Return it to your hand. And this unit gets 10,000 power to end that battle. This card is really good. Because you're able to return uh, any regard that you called. If you Persona Road. So, you're able to bounce two back, like back your triggers. If you caught a PG for some reason, you're able to bounce those back if you uh, Persona Road. And you're able to just mirage your field since we're coming up in set 10 around this time of the set. Um, being able to remove your own cards before like Grand Diva or any other deck that like targets your board is really nice. The major issue of this card is that it is turn four. So you have essentially like a, a 10K vanilla to your Persona Ride. However, since we are getting reprinted, reprints with Aura, we're able to, if you have the space to run Aura, you can essentially uh, get uh, the Regalus piece of the Chalice, and you're able to get a guaranteed Persona Ride. Uh, in some decks like Kyrie and Lofa, you're able to use the new Regalus piece to be able to call your Grade 3 uh, Vanguard, and you're able to bounce it back to hand. Um, and some decks are able to draw through their deck really quick, like Kyoka. And um, Letitia is able to essentially call another copy of herself and bounce back with Yuika. There's a lot of ways that um, you're able to get Persona Ride and Lyrical, as well as we do have a guaranteed Persona Ride, although it's a neg, two from, neg, neg one from your hand, you're able to essentially um, get your Persona Ride Searcher. So if you. Ha if you want, you could play that to be able to get this card automatically and be able to bounce two back. Um, overall, I think this is like a really good card um, to be able to put in your deck if you have the space for it. Not every deck has the space for it, but I think this is one of the better cards of um, that they revealed that's generic for Lyrical Monasteria. Overall, I think these double R's are interesting that they're allowing new. They're trying to combine like new play styles between the uh, lyrical girls, which is interesting. I hope they do more with that with like the rares and double R's too. Um, it will be interesting if they do make a triple R, but I'm not too sure because some of the decks don't really like mesh well. Like Michu and Lofa is kind of weird together. Hazard and powerful, like it, the card is strong, but Two of the decks play styles are completely different. Um, and Kyoka and Lutitia, they both play orders, but I feel like the card isn't that strong for both of the decks just because of how like simple the ability is. It is locked to turn three. But anyway, um, overall, I think these double R's, like I said, are very interesting. They bring a new... Uh, new deck building to the table for all the decks that some might be able to combine both of the support and make an interesting variation of the deck so just like we saw with friends and powerful with the magazine promo um you, like i say you can run melty in the deck if you wanted to and now with um hazard you can try to run uh you can try to do a variant where you can get that 10k power additional if you wanted to 
and j just uh, it just allows creative deck building with some of the cards overall i really enjoyed this entire set um for like, all the lyrical cards that was revealed during this set i really enjoyed it so if you would like to see more uh make sure to look at uh the bottom the bottom part of the video uh for more of any lyrical monastery videos that i posted uh at the top sorry at the top uh that is just a recommended video that you would like to and if you like to subscribe as above for me so if you enjoyed the video i'm zanarion and i'm signing off